So this is where we're up to at the end of the last video. I have a play player character who can move around the screen with the keyboard and uh, we learnt how the init is used to set up that sprite, the player sprite, as well as the uh, the window and how the draw, we need to have the draw thing in it, we need to have update to say make sure the update happens, these both happen 60 times a second and we also have uh, these two functions on key press and on key release which are listening for key events and uh, check so when a key is up we're changing the sprites movement speed change x change y um, uh, or changing it back to zero if the key is released so what I wanted to do was add some more sprites uh, we're going to make this as a coin collector game uh, I actually seem, seem to have gone with gems whatever so this is adding something to the screen control c so it's going to go in the init function so i'm going to put it underneath the player code again every time i paste i need to double check the indentation that's not right that is right um all inside this init function so same as with my player list that's an arcade.sprite list my gem list is an arcade.sprite list uh, only difference is going to be I'm going to have more than one gem in my sprite list. Here they are. Uh, I'm using that gem yellow. Remember, we got these from um, this page. It's somewhere in there. And uh, I've set its coordinates, X and Y position, and appended it to my list of gems. And then I've done another one, a slightly different position. Uh, and then I do need to draw the gem list. So self.gemlist.draw, not forgetting the brackets because we're calling a function that does something. Control this, Alt Shift F5. I should have two gems on my page, which I do. Fantastic. Uh, I feel like I want more than two. And of course, what I could do is do a whole lot of copy and paste. Uh, I don't feel like doing like a hundred of those that would be tiresome so I'm actually even going to go back and just do one and I'm going to do this inside a loop so we're practicing our for loop skills so I'll decide where my loop is going to go it's going to be this bit make a new gem each time uh, we're going to change the position we'll make it random each time uh, but we'll put it inside a for loop so for I in range let's do a hundred of them and then I've got to decide what goes inside the loop that lock goes inside the loop and I'm going to use the random library I have not imported random yet we'll do that in a second so random dot randint is as good as any and I seem to remember my screen is 800 by 600 uh, so let's copy that down to the next line control C control V and 800 by 600 is that right center x center y and then not forgetting to up here import random uh, will this give me 100 gems only one way to find out alt shift f5 yeah that'll do all right having done that um i want basically i want the game to be that i run around collecting the gems uh, and then we're going to add some more features to that another time, but I'll be kind of done for at the moment at that point. So collecting gems, I have another snippet of code. So what I have here is using, uh, let's paste this into the right place and then we'll talk about it. We're using uh, a couple of arcade, Python arcade functions that are here because they are typical things that people want to do in games. So control V, fix my indentation. That looks neater. So this is the function we're using here, the arcade function check for collision with list. So I can check what my player sprite, how it collides with the things in this list. And what it does, it goes through that entire list, looks for collisions. If it finds any, it puts them into this hit list. So that's everything where it found a hit, which might, but most likely it's probably just gonna be one sprite. Uh, most of the time and it's doing this 60 times a second of course because we're in the on update function um, and once we found this hit list we haven't done anything with it yet we're going to do something with it here it's for gem in hit list so for everything that it finds in the hit list which we're going to call gem and there's this python arcade function called remove from sprite lists 
we're going to say take this gem and remove it from all sprite lists. Part of course of what we're doing in uh, in terms of learning how to make Python arcade games is just learning what handy functions happen to be built into Python arcade. It's, it's a bit of a, um, a thing that we need to spend time learning as we go. It's not hard, it just takes time. So let's see if that works. I don't see why it wouldn't work. So if I Alt Shift F5 and run around, yay, look at me, I'm collecting those gems. So um, yeah, like I say, next stages, uh, I think that we're going to have these gems moving around to make it a little bit more involving and interesting. And maybe we should have bad gems where if you touch them, you uh, lose HP or something like that, or a score, or you've got a time limit, or I don't know. We could do all kinds of different things. Um, and that's the joy of making games. We do what's fun and what works. So hopefully that will have introduced you to the main features of a typical Python arcade game. This init, this on draw, this on update, um, and then listening to key events. We can also listen to mouse events. We'll do that in another video.